Alright guys, so I need a mask. Did you bring any? Um, I don't know. I might have one deep in my purse. Oh my god. Okay, we can go get one, I guess. What time is it? 7.48. My appointment's not till 10 10. Okay, we're gonna try this again. I had to go get a mask to wear in. No, no, these days I don't care for competition, you're the one that's racing no, I don't really want to talk about what I got finish doing this haul um, I was showing you before just like some stuff that I had picked up prior to today um, but some of it is uh, bike hair and just stuff for the house so I picked up some I'm just gonna go through it real fast cuz it's a lot I picked up a new tone it's the radiant glow illuminating body wash this one from Dollar General, I picked up the Old Spice Ultra Smooth Moisturizing Body and Face Wash and Clean Slate. This one's for John. And this is what he uses to wash his, uses to wash his face. He doesn't actually use a face wash, which is kind of making me mad. But anyways, and then this is my second bottle of this. This is the Pantene Pro V Conditioning Hair Mist Detangular. So they have two different ones. This one's the moisture, the hydrating one, and then they have another one that's like it repairs your hair. Um, that I picked up at Dollar General. We've got 
Dollar General, I picked up uh, a wax warmer for $8. And the melt, the wax cube melt thingies. I got vanilla coconut and coastal breeze. I haven't had one of these in a long time. So, and then from Family Dollar, I picked up. I've been looking for an aluminum free deodorant, and I couldn't find any around like where I live in Tishomingo at Dollar General Family Dollar. For like, I wanted one from Secret or Dove and or degree but i couldn't find one they didn't have them here um and then i came across this one from suave and it's just the almond and shea butter deodorant but it's formulated without aluminum just to try i don't i don't know what the difference is to be honest but i know people say it's better so um and then i also picked up baby dove sensitive skincare rich moisture from family dollar i picked this up because of chloe yasmine she said that uh, this is a good product to use as a intimate wash if you don't have one you can use that i have one that i'm about to show you but it's it's specifically for it says for your period so i have a box it's from the this l brand that um, sells the tampons and the organic tampons and pads it's new period wash foam wash no fragrances sulfates or parabens with white tea essence and vitamin E pH balance for period care so it's a foam and it says it says for a period for when you're on your period but they do I got this on Target um, they do have like a, a daily wash so something you use every day and sorry I'm not telling you the prices the body washes were like three four five dollars the Pantene was five the deodorant was two or three the baby dove was four four or five this I got on target.com it was I think nine dollars and then I also I also picked up from the honey pot um, awakening a jasmine panty spray and I got this because my name's in it honestly but it smells really good I have a I have a product like this that's from um, Summer's Eve, but it's like an aerosol that you just spray. This one, it says you can spray panties, underarms, feet, and shoes. So, this was $8 on Target as well. And then I also picked up a this new Olay KP Bump body scrub with glycolic acid I actually seen um, McKenna Walker she does like self care vlogs and hygiene vlogs stuff like that and she had picked this up and these are newer to like the drugstore and stuff or it's actually a new product I think from Olay the only um, other one that I know of besides like the ones on Amazon, like the other ones on Amazon, are like the the like the best known one is the one from First Aid Beauty, the KP Bump Eraser, or something like that. That a lot of people talk about that product. It's similar. And then um, the last thing I got from Target was a Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub, and I got Eucalyptus Blossom. And this was like five, five dollars and some change, like six dollars. It was actually cheaper than the rest that they had on the site. I don't know why. It was a couple dollars cheaper, but I picked that up. And then that was all from Target. Uh, and then on Amazon, I did pick up the Tree Hut Bear Coconut Lime Hair Minimizing Body Butter. I got this, so I don't. 
I have to shave as much. It's supposed to, it says use daily to slow down hair growth that and keep skin soft and hydrated. So, and this was like eight, around eight dollars on Amazon. And then, um, in my boxy charm, I got some eye patches to put under my eyes to hydrate them. And I was using them before my makeup, but it only came in a three pack. I had some that I had got from TJ Maxx as well before that. And I really like to use those before I do my makeup because I wear contacts and my eyes get really dry from like watering and stuff. Like under my eyes get really dry. But um, I just went on Amazon and typed it in and I found some marine energy eye mask and it came in a 60 pack like 60 pairs i've only used two so far but they do they're blue and they have glitter on them they do hydrate like after leaving them on for 10 to 15 minutes it's really smooth and it's hydrated under there and then also from amazon i picked up some pumice stone um, like double sided these are for my feet I also seen Chloe Yasmin she was using uh, the one from it's like the I can't think of it but it's a pumice bar but it's from a different brand and that's what she was using to wash her, to do like her at home pedicure. So I just got some in a big pack for the same price as one. So I got two, four, I got six different ones for like $7 on Amazon. And then yeah, the stuff we're gonna go through the stuff that I got today. So I stopped at Big Lots first, just to run in and grab a mask because I didn't bring one with me to go to the doctor. And I found this necklace. It's really pretty. It was only six dollars, so I picked it up. Um, Big Lots is starting to sell. Clothing like uh, they had Adidas, Reebok, um, just a bunch of different brands that uh, you normally don't see in there. They had. Oh, I meant to show you all these as well. I got these at Dollar General. I also, uh, from Chloe Yasmin, her videos, I've been watching um, her talk about, like, your being, like, balanced and everything, being healthy and, every, like, stuff like that with your being a woman and, like, your girl parts and all that. Um, she mentioned the Azo or Azo brand, their, um, uh, capsules they have the product the it's for urinary tract health so I just picked up like the generic kind from Dollar General and it came with 50 of them I've been taking them for a couple a couple days let me see Two, four, six, eight, ten. five days Two, four, eight, ten. Yeah, five days and there's 50 of them. And these were $5. So I'm trying these out first. Just to see what if they really help. And if I like them. But if I end up liking them. And I want to repurchase. I'll try a different brand. Low Bosworth from Laguna Beach in the Hill. She has a vitamin company I believe. It's called Love Wellness. And they have. A similar product like that that is for urinary tract health so um, I also picked up from 
Big Lots. I picked up this big bag of seven bath bombs from Crayola for Caden just because um, I've got a jar by in my bathroom by the tub and I like to put these in it for like decor and also to put them in it so he can just grab them um, it looks cute by the tub so I got these these were five dollars I think yeah I think they were five for seven I feel like I smell them but and then um, I was running low on my hand lo hand lotion that I keep in my purse and I found this one at um at Big Lots and it's eucalyptus oil, shea butter, argan oil, sea breeze, and eucalyptus. It's from Olivia Grace. I don't I've never heard of this brand, but it was only a dollar. They had two different um three different scents. This one and two others. So this was only a dollar. It's pretty big for a dollar. So I'm just gonna stick this in my purse. Alright, so now we're going to Dollar Tree. So, from Dollar Tree, I picked up some more fake flowers just to fill a vase and to put on the table. I have, um, I like to, depending on the season, I like to change these out. So, I just changed the ones on the coffee table in the living room. So, I think I'll probably put these ones in the kitchen. But, a dollar for all those. A dollar each. And then I found this cute water bottle. Um, because I'm taking these, it says to drink water with when you take these. So, I've been drinking a lot more water than I usually do. And I was thinking about putting it in here. Putting some ice maybe. It's so cute. You just drink out of it. But it's... Oh, I really like it. Cute. I was going to buy something similar to this. But it was a little bigger. So it was similar. It was like... It was like these two put together. But not as big as this one. And not as small as this one. It was bigger than this. Smaller than this. And it was like a... A container like a jug that you could put in the refrigerator if you wanted to put like some kind of drink in it to get cold and it you didn't want it to be like in a bottle but in a container in the fridge you know but we decided to put them back anyways I got this for a dollar I got one more of these uh, so I was trying to do my kitchen kind of like everybody's doing them with the containers like organize them organizing them but um i don't plan on being here much longer so i just decided to do it but with affordable things so like i'm putting my cereals in this one I already have two in my kitchen with cereal in it i'm gonna put cereal on this one and then i have the smaller ones that i have like my um noodles like spaghetti uh fettuccine stuff like that and the smaller ones i can put in i also have some more bigger ones that i have spaghetti in as well like spaghetti sticks and stuff like that so that's what i use those for all right oh this bag is heavy so i also bought some more wax melts from dollar tree um these ones are melon pop and orange creamsicle and then tiki colada and turquoise tides so you get three and three each three and three each I didn't smell these either before getting them but I did smell these things so I got um, some of these small candles I got 
one in midnight jasmine and these are all a dollar midnight jasmine they smell so good I got two in the wood sage and sea salt and then I got one in white amber I feel like I'm gonna lose these tops to all of these and I like the the outside of the candle and then I got these two they're the same and they're in driftwood sands so they have like this piece on it and they're in driftwood sands all these smell good so I'm kind of glad I got all those those are gonna go in the hall um bar tree where are you and then I picked this up I don't know why I like to use like plastic to eat out of and foil pans they also had some like small cookbooks just and we got them just to get some different ideas to cook I was gonna buy some books to do like those DIYs you know where you make the coffee table book but I decided not to I got a pan a pan to do my um, pedicures in or if I need it for something else um, and then I think this is the last Dollar Tree bag then I got two dish dry mats I didn't know they sold these but um, I usually use like just a kitchen towel to put under and I also bought this kitchen towel. Oh, it's really cute. And then I bought two picture frames to gift John. I'm going to put pictures of him and Kate in them. And then I also got this. And then we got a couple of makeup finds that are crazy so I went ahead and bought two <laughs> so um, I didn't know this was Revlon if you ever heard of this flesh brand they used they were sold in Ulta for a minute but it's flesh by Revlon so they had these foundation sticks Um, they had different shades and I got the two deep ones just because they're small and they're a dollar to use for cream contour and they're in the shade 35 s'more I don't know if you'll be able to see that let's try there we go 35 swore and then I was walking down the food aisle where there's like snacks and peanuts and stuff like that and I just happened to turn and look and there was three packs of these lashes just laying there like somebody found them and sat them right there these are from the Ioni brand and these are the, I guess, Wispy Fully Dramatic. And they're 3D Foam Ink. So, I have, now I have the pink, the yellow, and red, I think. Or, let me look. They're right here in the hall. Hold on.
All right, so yeah, now I have the pink, which are these, the yellow. Okay, so the pink are wispy, full, dramatic. The yellow ones are extra large, wispy, full, dramatic. And then these red ones are natural, light, dull. So, that was what else I found and then I picked up these three little um, baskets that I could find that were left. I was looking for the white ones but I grabbed these black ones that they had to use. I feel like these are cute if you're trying to decorate and organize your kitchen because I don't know why but wire just reminds me of like the kitchen for some reason and then I also want to mention this I didn't get this today but I got this the last time that I went to um, Dollar Tree and it's the Ponds Light Moisturizer for soft and glowing skin. It has vitamin E and glycerin. And then also, I don't know if I already showed all these. I also picked up some eye creams from their skincare brand there. It's by like Bolero or that's the brand. And I had a blue one too as well. Alright, so that was it from a dollar tree. The rest is a Walmart. We gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. So, like I said, I'm trying to organize all my, like my kitchen in a cute way, like a pantry. So, I picked up these dollar baskets just to put like snacks and stuff like different boxes and all that in you know and they were a dollar eight each and then I found these big black utensil metal utensil holders I forgot how much these were dang it I forgot how much these were I think they were five dollars like three ninety eight four something like that They're like four dollars a piece, and I got two of them. So, and then I also picked up. I want to do the um, body stuff last. Alright, so I also picked up a shirt. I was going to get a few different colors, but I, I was like, let me see if this one fits first. And it was $2.88. I got a small, I think, because they are a little big. And then I also picked up some flushable wipes. I just got this uh, two-pack. And they are, they were like $3, I think, $2.98. And then I picked up a pack of nails, these ones. I have so many nails now, but I picked up these. These are like a design that people have been getting at nail salons. And these were, I think, like 6 or $7.00. And then I also picked up this Burt's Bees Dark Spot Corrector Renewal with Vitamin C and Natural Retinol Alternative. So I was online looking for a bunch of different things to 
use and something I could use to uh, take these spots on my face away like these dark spots some of them are scars like not from acne but like from being scratched so I have like scars up here and a couple on here and then some are just dark spots from acne and this was I think $14 and then I went ahead and picked up a backup of my Maybelline Insta Age Rewind Concealer but this time I got golden instead of caramel um, golden's a little lighter but I have been using uh, my Insta Age Rewind again every time I do my makeup because it's so I feel like it just makes your under eyes look so smooth I don't know if y'all notice that when you use that like I barely have creases I mean I have creases but it's not like from the concealer it's just because under my eyes I have creases a little just a little so I went ahead and picked up that and that was like seven eight dollars and then I've been using this wet and wild tinted hydrator and I have the shade medium deep but I went ahead and picked up the deep for like just in case if I start getting a little darker from being in the sun you know and that was like five dollars and then to go with the tinted hydrator I picked up some new sunscreens and I hope these work but um, they're from Neutrogena Neutrogena I always have trouble saying Neutrogena but it's the Hydro Boost Water Gel Lotion Sunscreen and it has SPF 50 Invisible Finish Oxy Benzyl Free so these were $3 a piece so I picked up two so I hope these work especially under makeup I hope these work because with that um, Burt's Bees corrector I'm gonna have to use a sunscreen for sure um, so and then I picked up a big bubble bath for Caden this is in Berry Blast I was gonna get a uh, Chloe Yasmin said to use uh, Mr. Bubble because it's gentle. This one says gentle ingredients, mild formula. I don't know what that means, mild formula, but gentle ingredient ingredients. But it was the big one, and it was like three dollars, three four dollars. And Mr. Bubble was a couple more dollars. And then I picked the backup of my favorite leave-in conditioner is the Garnier Fructi Sleek and Shine Instantly Smooth Leave-In Conditioning Cream. My other one's not completely done yet, but I went ahead and picked it back up. So, I picked up the Ariana Cloud because everybody says it's similar to Baccarat. Not that I'm going to ever buy that, but this is going to go with my thank you next. And that was 25 I wanted to buy one of the uh, the juice perfumes. Um, I was debating between the gold one and the white one, I think. I kind of wanted to get both. And then I was going to get Ariana in one of those, but I decided not to. I might still order one. Don't tell John. Anyways. Okay, so now we're to the last bit of stuff and this is all rest the rest of its body care which is crazy for me because I usually don't buy this much stuff so for I, I bought John stuff because he doesn't buy stuff for himself I bought Old Spice daily hydration hand and body lotion he thinks he's not supposed to put lotion on but baby you ash so I got this one. I think it was like five dollars. I don't have my receipt with me. Wait, let me. It's over here. I can look. Hold up. I think it's in my purse. Yes, I'm in my robe. I got a stain on my shirt, so I had to take it off. 
Okay. Um, the black utensil holders were actually six dollars a piece. The nails were six dollars. Okay, so these were both, okay. This one, the daily hydration lotion was $6.97. And then I bought this. Oh my gosh, I, I, I was in such a hurry. I thought I picked up a shampoo and conditioner. And I just picked up a freaking shampoo. And this fool needs a conditioner too. I guess I can use one of mine. But, um. This is Old Spice Reinvigorate with tea tree oil. Invigorates hair, cleans the scalp, and it's a shampoo. This was $6.97 too. Y'all, there's so much. So, I think that's why I just, I grabbed this and wasn't even realizing that I only grabbed a shampoo um the bubble bath was two ninety seven so I picked up this Olay nighttime rinse off body conditioner with retinol this is something that um, I saw McKenna Walker pick up as well. And I will link, Chloe, I'll try to link Chloe's video and McKenna's down below. This was $5.97. I also picked up the Olay Cleansing and Renewing Plus Retinol Nighttime Body Wash. And this was... $7.97. I picked this up because my skin, my body, like the skin, my body, my legs and stuff is not the smoothest and this is or should help I would think. Our advanced formula infused with retinol and vitamin B3 complex quenches skin overnight with moisture so you can wake up to renewed and radiant skin. I thought retinol was like a something that like does the resurfacing. I guess not. I don't know. But we're going to see how this works. Both of them. The body conditioner too. I'm not even exactly sure how you're supposed to use that. But I also picked the Olay. Picked up the Olay exfoliating and hydrating plus deep sea minerals and coconut water body wash this was also $7.97 so maybe this one will make my skin feel smooth our advanced exfoliating formula made with vitamin B3 complex plus deep sea minerals and coconut water gently removes dead skin dead skin cells and replenishes 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 skin's natural moisture to leave skin feeling smooth and renewed so that was $7.97 as well and the last thing that I got was from Heritage the hair brand and it's a curl enhancing foam creates effortless styles from voluminous voluminous waves and define coils to setting beautiful braids. And this was $7.94. So that was the haul. And then I 
I'll show y'all. I also just went to the store that's in Tishomingo and they had some like biker shorts that were on sale and they have like uh, the pockets in them. These were like eight or nine dollars a piece. I got that this pink color and then I also got this peach color so they kind of look alike no they don't they look different in the camera but that's like pretty colors for the summer so but y'all I'm about to show y'all my room let me show y'all the aftermath, okay? Okay, okay, yeah. It's gonna take me hours probably to put all this up. Oh my Jesus. Oh God. So we got bed full of products. Wait, let me clean the. Yeah. We got bed full of stuff. Not really, but I mean. Got my little table full of crap and then the floor which is not that bad but I really don't want to put anything up right now because I still I, I know I'm gonna have to take all this new stuff that's not open and like organize it in my bathroom because I'm the type that is like wait until some of the other stuff is used up to open this stuff but I probably won't wait, especially like with that retinol stuff. I'm going to go ahead and use it because I ordered, um, I ordered a couple more like creams and lotions from Amazon. I ordered one from Polish Choice and it's, it's a lotion, but it's similar to, it's similar to this body scrub because it's, um, I don't know if it has, it has salicylic acid instead of glycolic acid. So it's going to help to like smooth, smooth your body, like your skin and stuff. Um, I was going to order one from Gold Bond, I think. And then I also seen it in store. It's for rough and bumpy skin. It has, I think it had said AHAs or BHAs. It has one of them in it. And it was only like $9. So. Um, but I ordered something for um, stretch marks because I have stretch marks on my thighs and then on my booty. And my mom used to tell me that if you scratch, you make stretch marks, which I don't know how true that is or if it is even true at all. But um, I think I know that on my legs I know like where I have them is because like my thighs got bigger my booty got bigger so that's why but um, I read the reviews on the I don't I don't know the brand of the cream I can't remember but I read the reviews and they were really good it said that after some people said that after like a week they could tell that the their stretch marks were fading a little so I don't know we'll see but the other thing I ordered from Polish Choice is like almost a sample size it's only two fluid ounces and it was only seven dollars but it's a lotion with salicylic, salicylic acid and something else but um that I don't know where my phone is Oh, it's over here. Hold on. So, this cream or whatever, lotion I keep talking about. I also wanted to order one off Sephora because I've been watching um, Kyra Omanique. Omanique? Omanique? Kyra? Yeah, her name's Kyra. And she um, was talking about this cream from Skin Fix. It's the 
Resurface plus AHA Renewing Body Cream. So it's like sp specifically for your body. Uh, I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see this. Hold up. It's not even showing up. Wait. So here it is. Skin Fix Resurface. And it's what about all this? I might get it. I don't know. I'm going to try the stuff that I have for a little bit. And if that doesn't work. We'll try that. But um, I probably should have started this stuff earlier. Because I'm doing it now. So I'll look good in a bikini. My, be my body will look better. So and smoother and all that in a bikini so yeah i probably should have started this a little earlier instead of now but you guys i'm gonna i'm gonna sit you down i think and start putting my stuff up so we'll see how fast i, I move i'm probably gonna put some of it in like a bucket especially like <clears throat> the new body stuff I'm going to set y'all guys on my vanity. And I also stopped using like towels to when I wash my face. I've been using um, paper towels, not regular towels. No, no, these days I don't care for competition, you're the one that's racing no, I don't really want to talk about what I got coming out next I'm not showing up to one note just to show up in front of your friends I don't really want to meet you out Just to have something to post about By the thought of having to pretend that I had a good time with someone who's just interested in what I got and not who I am. I ain't got the energy. No, no, I ain't got the energy. No, I ain't got the energy. No, no, I ain't got the energy. No, no, but it's time.
All right, guys. So my house is a mess. It's jacked up because we got this new TV stand, and we try to like move around the living room where there was still room for all my crap, and then the TV and the couch. So we have like this back space, and this is where all my stuff is. But I'm about to like try to downsize this and move the big dresser in my room like I'm about to be doing a bunch of stuff but before I start I'm putting my uh, sunscreen and stuff on because it's hot outside sun is shining bright and I need to go wash these and my laundry is over that way so I'm putting my sunscreen on but when I start after um, I do that I come back so I'm going to move this dresser out and then for dressers we're going to use these one two so that's six drawers that's the same as that two and then this one three so we're going to put these two black ones right here one two but they won't they shouldn't be as wide as that and I'll have a little more space to bring this the bed over this way and I'm gonna put that one on that side so it can, it can be my nightstand and John will have the one that's right there I mean it'll be both of ours because it's like a, that'll be like the dresser but you know whatever um I just thought it would look cute and go together because everything's black since we got that new headboard or not that headboard we found uh, we found somebody selling it on Facebook marketplace so once I move those though the dresser that's in the living room the big one that has my makeup in it I think I'm gonna put it right here and put the TV on it to get it out the living room and so there's more room in the living room but I don't know if I'm gonna put clothes in it yet or leave my makeup because I bought some things to put clothes in because now I have shelves in my closet so on both sides I have like a black shelf and then I have this white shelf over here I already have some bins I just have to organize my stuff and then I have these plastic bins going down the middle that have like my underwear bras socks and like shorts like my bottoms that I wear the most so, and I kind of want to get rid of these and put these outside um, in my storage so we can straighten that up and it doesn't look so tacky and bad. So I got a lot um, to do. I might put a little makeup on. I haven't decided what kind of desk I'm going to put over here. So obviously it's not going to be this. I could put the two stools. But, I don't know. And then I'm still trying to decide where I want to film. Either in the living room or in here. But, um, um, either way I'm going to try to make a place in here somewhere and make it look cute where I can film. Even if it's on the bed or something. I have some uh, mirrors there in the living room. I got this new mirror. I think I showed y'all from TJ Maxx. Um, it was $50. I still have like the bottom one. So, uh, I have these two small mirrors. I'm going to paint them black, the outsides. And then I'm going to put them over the nightstands. Alright, you guys. So, I just wanted to show you like this update of what what changed in here so i just bought this little um dresser off of facebook marketplace and i have all my makeup in it so i've got it pretty organized and i bought it because it already has like dividers in here and it was pretty affordable and all my makeup fits in here except what's on the top so i'm not going to go too in depth i'll do a makeup collection i really do want to change these knobs so and then I also kept this little desk right here. 
This desk I was going to sell, but I think I'm going to put this one in my room. So, there will be a little bit more space. Let me show you in the room. Oh, the um, couch and everything stayed like it is. We didn't change anything in here. Or I didn't. This stayed right here. I was going to put my makeup in it, but um, I'm going to use that for something else. And then... This is what the room looks like. So, this is what I have my makeup in. Now we're going to put our clothes in here. And then we each have a nightstand. And I put those little mirrors above. I painted them. I spray painted them. This stuff is not going to stay. And then this one's not going to stay. I think I might put this one in my closet. I haven't done my closet. So, where those plastic things are. I think I'm going to take those out and put those in my storage outside or um, in that first closet in the living room. Put this in there and then I'll have, I have a shelf over here, a black shelf and then I have a white one on this side. You can't see it. Let me open the store. So there's a shelf right there. It's got three shelves. So I'll have that. And then that way I could put the white, um, the white desk right here. And it's skinnier than this is, so it won't take up as much room and I can fit through here, walkway. And then this, I think I'll take back in the living room. And the stools, I'll find somewhere for them to go. So, um, I'm going to come in here and start, like, straightening out these drawers because I have clothes in that one. And that one... I have clothes in the top one and then we've got clothes right there that was in the other dresser that I took out so I told John he could have a drawer in here I might actually put this in his closet so he has an extra drawer I don't know yet we'll see and then I also bought I don't know where it's at that quilt oh, it's right here I wish I could have found the black one, but I bought—I just bought this one, something plain and easy to put on the bed. Cause I like the black. I like all—I like black and gray, black and white, black and brown, or cream, whatever color you want to call it, nude. So I'm gonna put that on the bed, and then change my pillowcases. I'm gonna eat cause I'm hungry. And then just straighten up this room some more. I don't think I'm going to change the desk today. I might wait till tomorrow because I don't feel like moving anything. My arms hurt. So I'm going to come in here and eat and throw this into um, the vlog. My first vlog. I think I'm going to come watch Game of Thrones and eat for a little bit. So deuces. Oh, I did my makeup. I guess I can turn the camera around. Yeah, I did my makeup before I messed up my lipstick. So, I hate this lighting. But yeah, I'm about to eat. I made some. This probably looks gross right now, but I made some dip, some cheese dip with like the ground beef. So I'm going to eat that and then I was watching Swoop's video earlier and she mentioned this editor in video so I was looking into that but um, I just use one that's on my Windows laptop. I have a Windows laptop. I don't have an iMac or anything like that and it's the HD Movie Maker Pro. That's what I use, so. So I made a couple orders on, well I went to Ulta in store and then I made a Morphe order and I made a Sephora order. So, f 
from from Morphe. I got this for from Pride or for Pride Month. This is their uh, mirror live with love collection um this is their collection that they are doing for pride month that they collaborated with todger call i think and it's just a basic handheld mirror that's really cute and this was 12 dollars. i got actually ordered it off of instagram for the first time and it did not take long to get here. I ordered it before I made my Sephora order. And then got here at the same time. So. Um, that's just Sephora because I ordered there first. So I ordered the Aqua Bomb Sleeping Mask from Belief. Um, I was using the one from Dr. Brandt, the hydrobiotic mask because I got that in my boxy charm. So I've been using that, but it's almost gone and I needed another one. But the size that you get that they um, put in the boxy charm, you don't they don't have. They have um, and they don't even have the, t the one in the tube they only have one in a jar and it was $52 so I just picked up this one because it was cheaper but not as cheap and because I actually have been wanting to try this brand for a long time and then also because Jackie I know likes it so I know that I'll like it even though her skin's oily <laughs> So this is what it looks like. I haven't opened it yet, so like I said, that uh, I'm still using that other one, but it's almost gone. And I think this was thirty-two dollars. And then I also picked up the Skin Fix Resurface Plus AHA Renewing Cream. Clinic clinically proven to smooth, dry, rough, bumpy skin and KP, cure, keratosis, Polaris. So, um, I got this because of Kyra, Omanique, Omanique, off YouTube. This was like $45, but it's a really big tube. It's for your body. It, yeah, so it was like $42 or $45. You put it on your body, and it's going to make your body really smooth. They had one from the, what brand is that? Is it Dr. Bond or Bond? Bonds from the drugstore for like nine dollars. That's um, for rough and bumpy skin. That I sh probably should have tried first, but I got this. She said it it works, so we're gonna try it. I have used it already. But, of course, you've got to use stuff more than once to actually see a difference. And then I also picked up this bronzer. From the new Huda Beauty collection. The Glowish Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder. And I got number 4, Deep Tan. And this was, I think, $31. $31 to 32 
And it looks like this. So it's probably looking way darker in the on camera than it actually is. Here's some light. So I really like um, like baked bronzers and stuff like that. Or not baked. I guess this isn't a baked. It it has kind of like that formula of a baked bronzer where it's got the the swirl in it like that and it's got a radiance to it that's basically what a baked bronzer is I think that's what I like more about a baked bronzer is that it has a radiance to it um, I picked up some samples and because I placed that order and I spent $50 I got 500 extra points, but, um, oh, I forgot to say how much, I think this, did I tell you how much this, um, is, if I didn't mention it, it, it was $12, um, anyways, I picked up the Benefit Bad Gal Bang sample, travel size, whatever, or the sample size mascara, I picked up the Ren overnight glow dark spot sleeping cream because I'm trying to get rid of some dark spots and I picked up the summer Fridays cloud dew oil free gel cream I was going to pick up this full size before but this is expensive so that was from Sephora Instagram and then I stopped at Ulta and picked up some things so I just picked up the eyeliner pen from Essence and it's waterproof and I got waterproof because my eyes water a lot and then I picked up the NYX lingerie XXL liquid lipstick and I got the shade turn on I think um, this was like nine dollars. The lipstick was nine dollars. The pen was like two, three dollars. Um, I picked up two of these foundation sticks from Juvia's Place, and I got um, two deeper shades. They were for sale on sale for three ninety nine, and I got the shade Zambia. So this is Tunisia, it's a little, it's deep. In Zambia. I don't think they're the same color. So, the lighter one is Zambia, and this one's Tunisia. So, this one's actually a little too light. I mean, it'll still work as like a contour because it's very warm. Or a bronze. I'll just probably have to build it up or add a little of this. Anyways, this one was Zambia and Tunisia. 
And these were three ninety-nine from Ulta. I also picked up this formula 10.0.6 total wake up vitamin A preparing daily eye serum and it has peptide complex plus antioxidant CoQ10 and I think this was on sale for $7 it's just a eye balm And then I picked up a bronzer and blush from Kylie because we all know her stuff is on sale right now. And um, I picked up the Tawny Mommy bronzer, which is, I think, the deepest. It's not very deep, but it's the deepest. And then the blush, I meant to get, I think I'm meant to get the apricot apricot shade and I got the peach shade the light light peach shade which I guess I would be the same um, I got the shade close to perfect which obviously it's going to be too light so um I don't know if I could take it back or if I'm even going to Ulta anytime soon so that's up in the air I may give it away um, and then I picked up the revolution and so one of her palettes I got cookies and cream and I think this is actual too light as well but I'm gonna keep it at I think I'm just going to get the deepest one after. Or the last trio. I mean, yeah, the last trio in her collection. I'll just get. Because I really like the duo. And these were $10. They didn't have her palette in stock, so... And that was just everything that I picked up lately, after, like skincare, makeup wise, even though I said I wasn't buying any more makeup. 